Hello everybody, I make levels here. Welcome to a special requested uh Left 4 Dead 2 survival map review. Uh someone sent this uh someone sent me a message on uh through YouTube saying to take a look at not their map, I guess it's their friend's map or I don't know, they wanted to uh take a look at it. Uh before we jump into it <laughs> uh on L4 D maps, uh the link to the download is in the description if you want to take a look. Their description of the map, it said this is not final, and indeed it was a alpha uploaded from know. last year. Well, okay then. Um, they said it's an aesthetic proof of concept, so the gameplay is gonna be unbalanced. They said it's probably gonna hey, lag ladies, because they haven't optimized anything. And that's about it. So I am really Weapons over here. kind of not really looking forward to this actually. A shot. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is Guns gonna right be here. this is gonna be something. Um alright, let's see here. Shotgun, alright. Laser sights here. Yeah, sure, why not? Laser sights. On a shotgun? Is there no why? That's Oh, that is auto shot. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do this. Okay. Well, let's um take a look at this. I guess. What is this? It's a book. Uh, is that gonna like start the whole thing? All right. Well, let's see here. If I'm doing a review, first off, um, you got broken models and stuff. I guess this could be conflicts. I I probably should have made sure that I uh, uninstalled everything else. I think I have one or two active mods. I don't know why uh, this would be conflicting though. This material is super dark and it doesn't... This is going to be a nightmare to walk around on. I don't want to walk around on this. I would rather stay on this stuff because that is so dark and you're just going to totally walk off the edge of something. Alright, well, I guess I'm just going to poke around. I haven't loaded this up yet, um, as I normally do not do. That's kind of... If those were moving, that would be kind of interesting. What? Oh, flashy stuff. Okay. Do these doors open? They do. We got floating chains. Um, I... <laughs> I really don't know what to say about this. Uh, they said the gameplay is not going to be balanced, so this is kind of like a weird dreamscape kind of thing it looks like here. Uh, you have buildings with lights. This is uh, this is obviously not really grounded in reality. Those are interesting custom models, I guess. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Oh, it's Bill. Oh, poor Bill. Um, Bill's not here. Okay, that's that's good. That would have been awkward. Uh, I'm looking for sort of like uh, holdout points, and this room looks like a good one because it's got a door here and a door there. Uh, ammo and med stuff in the same pocket, which is and not usually seen in a in a valve map because uh, there's no there's no risk to staying in that area for long periods of time. Um, the lighting, jeez. Uh, I don't like the lighting the the skybox because it's just a it's just red. If it was um something else over there that might be a different story I'm trying to see you can sort of see off of uh, there it is see that right there the uh, the water is like reflecting something badly I don't know what it is uh, there might be something's going on there I don't know what it <laughs> I don't know what it is uh, you got broken Air models or effects or something in here. Uh, floating staircases. I don't even 
I, I was I I went into this with a quite a bit of trepidation. I don't really like playing mods like this because they're super unfinished and you know if you, if you critique something as a finished product that which obviously is not then it just kind of seems like I'm taking a dump all over their work and you know what am I supposed to do uh, aside from all the missing textures and models and stuff what else can I really say about this Don't know. It's super dark. I I pretty much have to have my flashlight on the entire time, which I'm not crazy about. Big These gun here. models are interesting. I think this was. Uh, he said the models were from some Half-Life 2 mod. I don't remember the name. Uh, there's nothing really over here. I don't. I'm not crazy about it. I I don't like the uh, gaminess of it. Um, Hurt. This is, you know, obviously opinionated stuff here. People prefer their own thing. This, it's, it's, it's a bit on the arcadey side where you have a really obvious boundary and it's more of an arena type of thing. And personally, I prefer uh, stuff that seems a bit more grounded in reality. And this is like some weird sort of nightmare dreamscape kind of. Lovecraft thing going on and uh, that stuff can be cool if you're into it and it would uh, if I had to sort of like draw a comparison I would say the scarecrow levels in the first uh, the Batman game Arkham Asylum was it I think that was it. yeah yeah where uh, you know, Scarecrow like gasses Batman and he's all wigging out in some weird dream world and it, it has a lot of sort of not grounded in reality architecture, stuff is floating, Scarecrow's all like ginormous with a big old light beam and stuff searching for him and stuff and uh, I think that could definitely work as a level. I Right now the missing textures and stuff is really breaking it for me so it's kind of hard to Imagine it. Uh, unfortunately, the thing with you, s sort of a um, a shot here. I guess I'll go with fantasy type of of level. Is that you need to be able to see stuff, and I can't see crap. This uh, this texture is super dark compared to super light sort of brick stuff here. So I can't see anything. There doesn't seem to be a lot of lighting aside from this red sort of sunlight going on uh, I guess let's just start this I what have you done you done okay I opened a book that's what I've done I guess Here they come. Oh, we got music and I'm looking at my frame rate uh, they said <laughs> they said the gameplay would uh, kind of lag so that's what I'm that's what I'm dreading here I don't really oh Apparently I got chargered. Is why is why is he invisible? Did did everyone see that or not see that as it were? What's going on here? Reloading. Is stuff invisible? Or am I just imagining things? I'm really confused. I can sort of see that. But I can also see through it. It looks like... Why are... Why are things invisible? Something bad is going on here, and I don't know if this is supposed to be this way or not. And... Regardless of if it's supposed to be that way or not, I don't like it. <laughs> It's uh, it's a bit of a break from normal gameplay of what I was expecting this to be. If you want to make invisible special infected, that's awesome. It's uh, creator's pr prerogative to do so. There's way too much stuff in the central square. It is it is way too easy to hold out here. Really? Am I already this damaged? Oh yeah. 
Uh, it sounds like the jockey is stuck. There he is. Why is he invisible? I'm reloading. Something bad is coming. Where am I? There they are. I don't see the tank anywhere. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna try to get close to him and see if I can see it. I can see it now, but when I back away, he's invisible. Why? Why is he invisible? This is really weird. It's really weird. Uh, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I don't. I don't like not seeing what I'm trying to shoot. Obviously, that's kind of that would be frustrating for anyone. I think. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's supposed to be that way, because because there's just no information on on uh, how this is supposed to be how this is supposed to be going. Uh, this is going to be a really really short party here. Let's see if they're going to heal me again. Let's throw that over there. Another tank is coming somewhere. Yeah, I'm I'm not enjoying this um, pretty much at all. Honestly, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be honest, it's the invisible the invisible things are really annoying. The broken textures and models are killing it for me. I'm also dead. Uh, I don't like the sun, or the lack of sun, rather. And it looks like this is the end of it here. I guess I'll, I'll redo another match and just kind of walk around and point stuff out. Oh no, I'm getting pulled up. Let me go, coach. It's over. Okay, let's jump back in here. Invisible enemies, not cool. I, I, I don't know if that's on purpose or not. That, that might be. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something really quick. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, well, I, uh, I deleted all my other. I didn't delete them. I un, I unactivated them or whatever it is. So, these broken textures are. Are an issue. Are, are they're a legit issue? It's not just the mod conflicts and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the invisible enemies is not also a mod conflict because uh, who knows? It might be. Um, I don't like the super dark texture. There's no real reason to move out on that area because you can't see anything. There's no lighting to see Laser sights here. the enemies except for this Boom consistent. Uh, un non shadow casting red light. The. I mean. It's it's super. It's super dark to see, w like in all these areas and stuff. So I don't really want to go into here, <laughs> at all. We got guns. Uh, some of this stuff looks kind of neat, like the. Well, that kind of looks a bit janky. Arms just randomly coming out of things on the wall, but uh, some of the like the weird the wall the arms in the um, yeah, this looks just weird. I don't know. Uh, the guy was trying it out as an aesthetic test, so if this is what he wanted to go for, maybe he succeeded. Uh, from a gameplay standpoint, I don't want to go into any of these areas because I have to travel through this poop. <laughs> this this super dark, can't see anything, no cover poop here uh, before getting into here. Layout wise, it's very arena-y. You have sort of the the center, which has a ton of stuff. It's got ammo, it's got medical kits, it's got weapons there, and it has a lot of throwables. It has pretty much everything. Everything right here. Throwables, medical, weapons, laser sights for anything. Lots of throwables. And then on the outer edge, you have other stuff to go into. The only problem is... 
it's all super dark. Seeing stuff is really difficult. What in the frick is this all this stuff? And, and then you have weird rooms like these. Like, I wonder if we can just hunker down here and cover these doors indefinitely. I don't know. And, uh, you know, this one also only has one entrance here. And if you have... At least there's no ammo in these rooms. That's kind of good, I guess. There's, there's too many turtle spots. There's too many spots to just hunker down and stay there for five minutes. And, uh... You'll probably have to move out for tanks and stuff. I don't really know what... Um, I don't really know what else to say. There's there's definitely issues with the map. Uh, even in, even if you like fix, fix the uh, missing textures and models and stuff. The, the aesthetic... I mean, if the lighting was different, it might be cool. If the, uh, I don't know, <laughs> this is, this has really thrown me for a loop. This is way off the beaten path of the normal stuff that I play. So I don't really know how to kind of, uh, talk about this. It's, sorry, random punctuation point there. Uh, it's, it's definitely not my normal thing that I would search out and play unless it was presented really well. And again, I'll go back to the Batman Arkham Asylum thing in the Scarecrow levels. Uh, take a look at that stuff for reference and stuff because it's, it's definitely pretty cool. It has, it really makes you feel like you're not in a normal world. Uh, it's very sort of... Uh, who is that? Who's that person that painted the paintings with, you know, like the upside down staircases and stuff? It, it had a lot of that stuff. It was very uh, sort of I am not in the real world type of feeling to it, which can can work in a game like this. I think it would be cool. It's definitely unique. Uh, from what I've seen, but again, this isn't the normal thing that I go around looking for, so I could be totally wrong about that, I don't know. There are definitely things that could be improved or fixed. Uh, models, this texture, there's just no cover to reach the outer areas. Uh, this place is too... well... This place has too much stuff. Um, there's, there's too much here for me to talk about. There is... I mean, the guy hasn't updated this since he first uploaded it in March of last year. So it's literally a year old with no traction on it. So I don't even know if he's still working on this or not. Um, if he's, like, taking whatever he learned from this and applying it to something else, I'm not too sure. But I suspect my time is running long, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, you're you're on a you're on a track. <laughs> I don't know if it's the right track because it's again not something I normally play. I think this could be cool if it was if it was done right, and it definitely has a unique factor to it. Um, if time if more time uh, was put into it, I think it could. Uh, it could be turned into something that would be, if not unique, something that would be pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I hope that satisfies <laughs> the person that asked me to take a look at this. Uh, as of now, like I really would not want to play this, though, um, because the gameplay is a bit... Limited. Limited, yes. Uh, the lighting, I would say, if you do nothing else, fix the textures. Um, make it so that I can see where I'm going in this really dark outer area. Uh, bump up the ambient light or add more direct lighting in the whole no man's land here, this whole dark area around here. Um, fix the lighting in the buildings on the sides so that I have a reason to go there. 
Uh, these outer buildings are also really far away, which means that zombies spend longer in the no man's land here, this whole outer sort of donut place, if this is the center hole, which means that they can be picked off relatively easily. I would pull in the building some and add more sort of things to break up your line of sight in the middle. Sort of, you know, all these trees are good, um, the terrain height differences are good, but it's, it's fairly uniform where this is on a hill, so they're all climbing uphill. I would just put more uh, vertical breaks, you know, like a piece of broken wall so zombies go around it and just just more angles of approach to get to here because if a whole bunch of zombies spawn in there they're all gonna go out to there to get around the wall and then they're all gonna come up you know straight line kind of way and if there's more it's like a pachinko machine right if you have if you have stuff dotting the landscape they're gonna flow around all that and it's gonna be it's not gonna be okay I'm shooting at zombies all right here it's gonna be Shooting at zombies here, shooting at zombies there, shooting at zombies there, shooting at zombies there. And it'll be a bit more... Uh, less fish in a barrel -y, if that makes sense. Uh, if you do those, <laughs> like, handful of things, I think it would be on the track to... Uh, an improvement, I guess, in my oh-so-humble opinion. Uh, that's gonna be it. I think I've uh, been talking long enough here. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this hasn't been too bad, I guess. Um, textures. Ah, oh, missing textures. Okay, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Join me next time for whatever I have coming up. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.